The fight to reopen Pungo Hospital returned to Superior Court today for the first time in more than a year. Vinant and Pantico Creek LLC on one side and the town of Bellhaven and the NAACP on the other. WNCT's Josh Birch was there. He reports from Washington. The proceedings today were in front of a new Superior Judge, Stuart Albright, after a request was made to remove Judge Fitch from the case. Vidan and Pantigo Creek LLC argued to dismiss the complaints filed against them, including breach of contract and fraud. They argued they were upfront and honest with what they would do when the fact the town and NAACP hadn't done what they needed to do to prove any fraud had taken place. The town and NAACP continued to say Vidan manipulated them and intended to close the hospital from the beginning. They believe Biden is trying to do all they can to escape reality. They are engaging in the kind of maneuvering that you engage in when you know you're wrong. You're wrong. What we want is a jury trial. We want the things that Vidans have done, the things they've done to our community, we want them to put out there in public so everybody can see what they did. The two sides also disagreed on whether the property must be used for a hospital. The LLC lawyer argued the deed had expired, but the town says the General Assembly authorized the town to use it as a hospital back in 1947. A verdict from the hearing is expected tomorrow. In Washington, Josh Birch, 9 on your side. Vitan Health did release a statement saying they deny all allegations in the complaint and look forward to the ruling on their motion to dismiss. You can read more about this case on our website, WNCT.com.